What's going on guys? So today I have a very cool unboxing for you guys. As you can see, the giant DX Racer logo on the side. Now first of all, I want to say a huge thank you to John and DX Racer themselves for actually sending me this chair. Uh, obviously I would not have this chair without them. So a huge thank you to you guys out there. But anyways, I figured I'd go ahead and open this for you guys on uh, the video here. So you guys can kind of see what comes with the uh, whole chair here. Now, I'm not going to show you guys me building the chair, but I'll show you guys like the finished product. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and... This box is humongous. Like literally, the... The dude that delivered it, he just kind of left it at my door, and I was having like the hardest time bringing it in because it's huge and it weighs a ton. So uh, I don't know. I'm pretty excited though. I've always wanted one of these, and uh, when they were like, you know what, we'll send you a chair, I was like, all right, <laughs> like I'm down, I'm down. You, you can go ahead and send me a chair whenever you want. So <sighs> there's the whole box right there, as you can see when it's laid down. Like I said, it's massive. So. Um, I'm using my, uh, I'm using my, whatchamacallit, my iPhone cable to uh, open the box. <laughs> so kind of a jank setup, but I forgot any sort of scissors or knife, so uh, it looks like we're going to have to use this. So let me just get this open here. All right. There's our first piece of tape. Let's go ahead and open this. And... Open this. Come on. There we go. And now, let's take a look what we have inside. So, I'm going to be a little careful with opening this stuff because I'm sure it comes in like a specific way um, to open without, you know, or with being able to build it. Oh, I got to fold this back. Hold on. All right. There we go. So, I'm sure it comes in a way to where, you know, it's easier to build it. So, I'm going to try to keep it that way. So, let's see what we get, though. Holy, look at that. Dang, they sent me a nice one, too. All right, thank you. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get these pieces out. So, here's the first piece. Oh, my God, that is so nice. Look at that. They've got the tape and everything on there. Oh, by the way, um, I probably should point this out because I'm sure you got a comment on it. I'm watching um, Fi Fi, so <laughs> oh, that's an interesting image to put up there, but... Yeah, I'm watching Fi Fi, so that's why if you see any reflections or anything, or if you hear him, because I kind of forgot to mute it, but let's just pretend that I muted it. Anyways, so here's the top piece of the chair. Holy crap, this looks incredible, <laughs> to say the least. I'm going to open it. Ow, I hit my knee. <laughs> Anyways, here's the top piece of the chair. Oh my god, this is so nice. Look at this. That's a nice looking piece right there. <laughs> that was only the top of the chair, but look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let me put this over here. Um, also, I know that you probably see those two. Those are, that's my medicine. Don't even worry about it. I told you guys I was sick, alright? <laughs> Anyways, in here, um, this looks like just a piece of the chair, so I'm not going to open that. But we got a piece of the chair to build it, I guess. Um, oh my god, look at that. We got the headrest. Oh, that's so awesome. Let me open this up here. So there's the headrest right there. Oh my god, that's so cool. Um, what is this? Is this a mouse pad? Is that what this is? Or is this like, yeah, this is, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if this is a mouse pad or if this is like, I'm sure it's something maybe to do with a chair or something. I don't know. <laughs> it looks really cool though. I'm gonna have to figure out what that is. I mean, if I had to take a guess, it's say it's a mouse pad, but knowing me, knowing my luck, this is probably like some piece of the chair. I don't know, we'll have to figure it out here. But, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, we have another little pillow right here. Go ahead and open this from the back. Alright. So, here is the other small pillow. Also really comfortable. Super cool, actually. And, um, now, now we have the hard stuff. And that is this, which I'm not really going to pull this out, but as you guys can see, it is, um, the bottom of the chair. So, uh, I'm, like I said before, I'm going to go ahead and put this together, and I'll show you guys like the final sort of build thing. It's going to be red and black, and uh, it looks pretty sweet. So, anyways, I'll see you guys then. So, see you in just a second. Alright, guys. So, it is the next day after I built the chair, and here it is right here in its entirety. Right now, it's currently leaned back, but holy crap, this chair is crazy. Now, I will admit, I'm going to do like a small review right here. I thought it was going to be kind of uncomfortable, because when I first sat in it, I was like, alright, this is <laughs> really uncomfortable. 
and then I realized that it like after a few minutes you just gotta kinda get used to it and then it becomes like super comfortable and not only that but it's great for your posture and stuff like that um, I was watching a ton of reviews on it and stuff like that so um you know it's just it improves your posture and it's it's one of those chairs where it's like it's uncomfortable at first but like once you take the time you kinda sit in it a little bit it becomes really comfortable and I cannot see myself going back to the other chair that I was at before especially with this feature right here this lean back feature is literally the best thing ever you can lean back like all the way it's crazy like I'll be sitting there like watching something and I'll just lean all the way back here and it's like a little bed just kinda like lying down like this obviously further back but like right now like I'll show you guys what I was watching. I was watching some Casey Neistat. If it shows, it's it's his legs. <laughs> I paused had a good time, but uh, basically I was just kind of chilling back on this thing, and it's super nice. And um, not only that, but these things they're super easy to move back and stuff like that. Like the armrest and stuff like that. Um, I keep saying stuff like that. I don't know why, <laughs> but um, you know. So while I'm sitting up, I'll have them like this. But when I lay back, I can kind of push them back and then have a place to rest my arms. And uh, these little things to rest your feet on are great too. Overall, I just love the chair. Now, like I said before, when I first built it and I you know, tried it out last night, I was like, this is uncomfortable. This pillow up here, I can't stand it. This down here, I couldn't stand either. So I took them both off. And I was like, all right, this, this is even more uncomfortable. I put them back on and I just kind of was like, all right, you know, I'll give it a chance. And ever since then, I have not regretted it. Honestly, it's great for your neck and just your head too. I mean, I don't really use it on my head. I use it more on my neck. Um, it's a lot more comfortable. And then this piece, you can kind of move up and down. I absolutely love it. I'm talking about this piece, by the way, this little pillow. You can move it, like, up and down. And, um, yeah, overall, I really love the chair. Um, it's a chair that if I ever decide to purchase another one, like another cha chair, if I choose between DX Racer or uh, GT Omega, I would say this one. And I haven't even tried a GT Omega, but this one I just absolutely love it so far. I'd probably go with the King Series, though, next time. Um... Because it's it's bigger, and not because this chair doesn't fit me. This chair does fit me great, actually. But I think I'd prefer, you know, one a little bit even bigger than this, just because, you know, even more comfort. But yeah, so there's the chair. I'd have to say, if you guys are thinking about picking up one of these, go ahead and go for it. Um, you can watch other reviews. They'll say it's uncomfortable at first, but once you get used to it, it's a great chair overall. And uh, I really like it. And I'm happy that, uh, I mean, this may sound weird, but like now in phase cam videos, you guys will be able to see the DX Racer logo, which is pretty cool. I don't know. I'm pretty excited for it. Um, to use it and just to have it in videos and stuff like that. So anyways, that's it though, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, now that we got this done, I only need a few more things done to the room. And uh, we'll have a new room tour. I'm only showing you guys the top. But yeah, so uh, I got a few more things to do. And I promise we'll get that new room tour up for you guys for 2016. And uh, that's about it though. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.